Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we got round one of the arena. We've got Dr. Voodoo and we've got Shang-Chi in the arena. Shang-Chi was the basic and Dr. Voodoo was the feature. Now I have both of these champions as five stars and I was not interested in going for either of them as a six star. Uh, I like Dr. Voodoo a lot. And had he been the basic champion, I might have been tempted to go for him, even though I just uh, grinded for a five star no. And Shang-Chi, I don't know yet if I'm uh, going to go for the six star. Probably not. We're going to see what the scores look like. Now, I have a couple of people I know that are going for Shang-Chi. I don't know too many that are going for Dr. Voodoo. Uh, especially since he needs to be awakened. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if they go for him uh, both times, but that six-star grind in the featured arena is unreal. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. I went for the shards in both cases. All right. And let's go ahead and see. I haven't touched any of the Sunday arena. I don't do the Sunday arenas. All right, so I got the uh, shards on both, and I apparently went a little bit too high and got a five-star Dr. Voodoo. Uh, don't really want that. Uh, right now, there's a five-star featured um, pool that has a five-star Scarlet Witch in it. So I actually did want the uh, five-star shards rather than getting Dr. Voodoo, who uh, is already SIG 200. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Um, and I got the shards uh, there, got all the uh, units in the uh, Seminar Trials. All right, let us find out how folks did in the Shang-Chi arena. And I kind of feel like the uh, basic arena was more hyped than the feature. So uh, let's see. Now, uh, the top 100, in case you are unfamiliar with how this works, the top 100 get the six star version and 101 down to 500 get the five star. So I'm going to be looking for, you know, a, a couple of names that I know we're going for the um, six star. Coat Hanger, congratulations. Rank 20, not bad. Coat Hanger is an arena grinder. Uh, she grinds more than I do. All right. So. Uh, she wanted that Shang-Chi, and she got that Shang-Chi. All right, let's see who else you might recognize here. Now there's, there's at least one name I'm looking for, and I hope he got it. I really do. I hope he got it. And uh, I know what score uh, he put up because he sent me a screenshot as well, so... If we see his name, we'll know. And if he didn't get it, oh my goodness, I'll be happy that I did not go for uh, Shang-Chi. Sanmyo, congratulations, 56, not bad, not bad. And there he is, Devastator, 61. He put up 80 million points. Uh, so I'm happy to see that he got uh, 61 and he wasn't like, right down there at like 98, 99. Um, so it wasn't an 80 million cutoff at least. Uh, so that's good. That's good. So congratulations. Enjoy that six star Shang-Chi who doesn't even need to be awakened. All right, let's see anybody else. Uh, but that was the name uh, I was mostly looking for. All right, let's see anybody else. No, no, no. Bike, congratulations, man. That's what's up. 86, what did you put up, man? Let me know, let me know in the uh, comments. What did you put up? All right, because you're, you're closer to the cutoff. Okay, that's not uh, the one I know there. All right, so Apocalypse cute um you are the final one to get a six star shang chi round one so now 
let's look and see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. Hmm. I don't know him, but you have my condolences, man. You had to put up a, a nice, good score. I hate to see that, but somebody's got to be 101. And I wonder if you're going to bounce back and go uh, round two and just uh, put up even more. Because that, you know, to come so close is just frustrating, I know. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, it, it, it could be either way. You know, you could say, forget this. This ain't worth it. But if you really want them. You might go even harder next time and uh, ensure that you get them. Uh, I, I don't think I will be going for him. I really, I like him, but I don't think I would use him enough to warrant the kind of grind I would have to do. Uh, Moneyhead, I was actually thinking about you. I could see you just went for the uh, five star. Uh, I still remember because Moneyhead got 101 in a round one of an arena and came back round two and went hard and got it. So I was thinking about you when I was talking about uh, 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 101 and, and whether he will come back hard or not. Uh, but congratulations on that five star. All right. I would love to have him. I really would. And if if it was not for Cyber Weekend coming up this month, the end of this month, I probably would have grinded a bit for him and um, maybe even use some units, you know, or just not do any of the other arenas, which means I would have given up shards and units uh, and, and see if I couldn't put up uh, like an 80 uh, million score. Sammy APG, congratulations on that five star. And I could do it. I could definitely do it. Uh, I don't know if I could do it without units though. And without focusing completely on that arena. Uh, that, that I do not know. And I, I'm trying to save my units right now. It would have hurt if that had been Hercules. But my understanding is Hercules uh, will be in the basic arena next year, probably will break records. And uh, I want him. Uh, he does need to be awakened, but I probably, if I do go for him, will only go for him round two. And uh, his scores are probably going to be insane. All right. So you see the score that I put up. It got me uh, Dr. Voodoo. Maybe uh, round two, I will uh, put up less than that uh, to try to get just the five, uh, K five-star shards because I don't want Dr. Voodoo. Um, it doesn't really help me. All right. Now, I mean, I'm sorry. I I'm, I'm thinking of uh, the next arena, uh, the Shang-Chi arena was okay. Now let's go to the Dr. Voodoo arena. All right, so 30 million, I will probably put in less than that because I don't need Dr. Voodoo. I got ahead of myself and was already in this arena before I was done with the uh, Shang-Chi arena. Hey, it's Sunday and I am relaxed and enjoying a nice lazy day. All right, so let's see. Uh, I, like I said, I think the basic arena was more hyped uh i don't i don't even know uh who was going for dr voodoo and like i said i like dr voodoo but just like uh hercules uh that i was talking about uh i believe dr voodoo needs to be awakened you can play him without being awakened and he's not bad but for me i refuse to play him when he was not awakened and I remember back in the day when he came into the contest as a four star and I went hard at the time I put in like 9 million uh, points, which was a lot. 
at that time. That that was a crazy grind uh, for that five star Doctor Voodoo, uh, and then I did it a second time as well. ID Slim, congratulations on that six star Doctor Voodoo. Um, and I remember it well because uh, around that time, King Groot had entered the contest. Uh, and I used a four-star Dr. Voodoo to embarrass King Groot. You know, I converted all those Furies to poisons and wrecked him with a four-star. Um, Black Gamer, congratulations. And when I got Dr. Voodoo as a five-star, I continued to use the four-star for the longest time until I could awaken Dr. Voodoo. Uh, Rhythm the Rock, congratulations. And I even made a video, uh, and you can look for it, uh, do a search for, I think, Prestige, because I made some Prestige moves with him. He was, at that time, still affecting my Prestige, and he wasn't even uh, rank, what was it, rank four or rank five. And I took him up. And maxed him out, I believe, and uh, got my prestige up at that time with Dr. Voodoo because his prestige was was pretty good. He was one of my better prestige options. I, I did all these uh, calculations to see what was going to uh, increase my prestige the best and the quickest. And it was taking Dr. Voodoo up uh, and maxing him out. So if you want to see that video, you know, you can go back in the day and uh, take a look at what I did there. All right. And that is it. Mr. Toro, you are the last one to get a six star Dr. Voodoo. And um, we are now going to take a look. We're going to see who is Mr. or Mrs. 101. OK, don't know them personally, um, but was that B. Priesto? Cristo, uh, you have my condolences. All right, let's see who else we got here. I can't imagine that these guys weren't going for the six star here. You know, like all the way like 110 or so, they had to be. Um, I don't know yet what the um, cutoff was, but I don't think the cutoff was that high but you don't know with the six star especially in this arena you don't know dna 3000 congratulations on the five star voodoo i'm not sure if you were going for the five star or the six star but you might have been just unlucky and never pulled that five star uh because dr voodoo is not new you know he is he is a long time been a five star and um a lot of people already have him. So I think that's why, you know, there wouldn't there wasn't that much uh hype that I was hearing about a six star Dr. Voodoo because of Shang Chi. You know, Shang Chi, as much as I like Dr. Voodoo, if I had to choose, it'd be Shang Chi. I would definitely go for Shang Chi over Dr. Voodoo. But I do like Dr. Voodoo. All right. Let's see, we recognize anybody else that just grabbed that uh, five star Dr. Voodoo. Okay, no. <laughs> My met. Mm, okay. All right. I see you. All right. Anyway, and there is it. All right. So, that's going to do it uh, for this video. And that is it for the leaderboards. 201 to 500 also get the five-star champion in both arenas. So uh, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.